Welcome to Modi Makes. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi. This is Modi Makes, and today. I'm going to be making a very interesting 3D painting using clock. Those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know that I always love to find new dimensions to add to my paintings to make them really pop out at you. And recently I was made aware of a really simple way to add beautiful three-dimensional texture to your canvas using only cloth, wood glue, and water. And a canvas, I suppose, too. So let me show you this little nugget of wisdom I stumbled upon here. And as you always should, we'll start at the beginning with... I'll start by grabbing an old bed sheet and savagely cutting it to shreds. To shreds, you say? I'm cutting out a really rough rectangle slightly larger than the size of the canvas area that I'm trying to cover. Then I'm going to measure out about 125 milliliters of water and pour it into a bucket. And add three big spoonfuls of wood glue into that sucker. Then stir, baby, stir. Once the mixture is homogenous, you just take your cloth and use it to soak up everything in the bucket. Then you grab your canvas and slap that bad boy right down on top of it. Now you just take your time and fold and wrinkle your cloth into whatever design you desire. And after it's dry, the wood glue will hold the cloth in that position for you. However, unless you're way better at planning ahead than I am, you'll need to do a little bit of cleanup. So cut off the excess fabric from the bottom, leaving just enough to wrap it around the bottom edges of the canvas so you can hot glue the edges down. Make sure you burn your fingers at least once during this process or else you're doing it wrong. Now the fabric is fully adhered to the canvas, so I'm gonna pull out a brand spanking new tub of gesso to paint the entire thing white and get a nice base coat to work on top of. I made sure to get up in every crack and crevice of the fabric just in case, but I am going to spray paint this for color. So let's get into... I'll start by grabbing a glorious green-blue color to cover all of the cloth. Once that's finished, I'll switch out for a brilliant golden yellow color to cover the canvas on top and spray at a steep angle just to cover the very top facing folds of the cloth. And this gives it a brilliant unreal lighting effect. Now, it wouldn't be a Modi painting if there wasn't some funky character design painted onto it, and I would hate to disappoint. So I think y'all know what time it is. It's... I'll bring this bad boy back to the studio and get into sketching my subject. To make it as accurate as possible, I'll cast my digital sketch with my mini projector. It can be a little fickle at times, especially if my laptop decides to go to sleep in the middle of sketching. But once you get it right, it's a beautiful thing. Now that I have a perfect sketch, I can pull out my beloved Posca pens.
I'll start old school by laying down all my black line work first. Then I'll go back and fill in all the pure black areas. With all my fill areas laid out in front of me, I can grab all sorts of crazy colors and bring this painting to life. This painting is gonna be an old timey diver bobbing just above the waves in shock as a giant tentacle comes from off page to get him. The diver suit is inspired by these wild deep diving costumes from back in the day that have all sorts of small circular windows on the helmet, kind of like the enemy in Bioshock, with the abstract wave pattern being created from the cloth below. Now once I've filled in all the color areas, I'll come back over the edges with my black Posca marker to make sure all my lines are clean and crispy. And to finish off strong, I'll add a bunch of hash line detail elements to taste. Once I've finished all of this, the painting is complete and ready for those final shots. Well, there you have it, my peoples. My painting Shallow Depths is complete, and I am very happy with how clean the character work came out, and I am extremely happy with how cool this 3D effect with the cloth turned out as well. But let me know what you guys think of the piece down in the comments below, and let me know if you have any questions about this video or any other video I've made. I'll be happy to read through them all and respond to them personally, as I always do. And you know, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. That would be fantastic, and if you like me, you like the channel and you want to help support me the number one thing that you can do is to subscribe i really couldn't thank you enough if you did it means the world to me with all that out of the way and without further ado i'll catch you guys in the next one peace thanks for watching